you know when you get Val excited, it's a good airplane. So let's take a look at what I was able to build. I've been looking at the X-36 and trying to design a little fighter around that, that body style. So I was able to devise this. This is called the Maple Leaf because, well, kind of shaped like that. But it has these angled wings from the X-36 and with a tailless design, it is able to cruise pretty nicely. So let me take you guys for a nice little trip and show you a little bit about this craft because this one's quickly becoming my favorite and we can both kind of sit back and do a quick analysis over these tailless designs and how well they work after this intro. I am back, so let's go ahead and show you this craft and how it flies. So I'm gonna bring everything out. I'm gonna bring up our aerodynamic uh, effects here, and we're gonna go ahead and take off. So this is the maple leaf, and you can see right now, it's already ready to lift off. Once I saw the blue effects there with the lift, I knew I was ready to go. And even without the tail, we actually maintain pretty good maneuverability, as you can see here. Not that much side slip going on, as you would expect from a craft without a tail, but uh, it's able to handle it quite well due to the angled wings. <laughs> I almost was going to hit that. And it also self-corrects itself in flight because the angled wings. Isn't that delightful? So here you have a craft that is able to cruise pretty well. I don't actually have to hit my afterburner in order to get some really nice speeds here. So I can actually cruise around Mach 1.8. 8. 1.8, you don't need your afterburners to enhance your speed. That is awesome. And that's because you have this huge wing that's giving you all the stability and the engines just have to push you forward. As long as the straighter we can go forward, then the faster we're going to be able to go. So we can keep our pitch relatively flat and actually accelerate pretty nicely with just that right there. And you can see right here, look at this. It's, it looks so nice just coming in flat like that. The craft is so amazing. So here you have just your pitch and yaw. Each of these handle two things, pitch, yaw, pitch, yaw, roll and yaw, roll and yaw. But this one here, down here, only handles the yaw control. So it's a little extra yaw control down below. So that's going to allow us to have really fantastic control, even though we are not using your standard traditional tail design. And let's just take a look at this real quick. Look at that. That looks amazing. Now, the X-36 has this separate canard in the front, whereas I kind of binded them all together to make a giant wing. So that way I could uh, not emulate the exact design, but kind of take the tailless effect into the, into the design and see how well it would do. And this one took me a little longer to get balanced out to fly so well. And even with as well as it flies, you'll see it sometimes start to bobble side to side, but it stays stable. So that only happens in the higher atmospheres as you are losing your velocity and you have less lift going on. Other than that, it stays remarkably stable in most of its configurations. So, yeah, this one has been beautiful. Let's take a look at the lift. The lift is in blue. Your uh, Elvon controls, they're in yellow. And your drag is in red. You're not going to see much body lift in here since I am with the Mark 1 parts. So let's show you what it looks like once we start doing maneuvers. So let's have at it. Up we go, and you'll see all of that happening. That's a lot of lift, so you're not going to have the super reaction that you get from some of our better jet craft, but this one is super stable, even upside down, which is fantastic. As you can see right here, it kind of stables itself out 
and so we're flying Stewable. Now this is kind of what you see when you're at higher atmospheres too. Uh, the, up in the upper atmosphere it tends to do the same wobble but that is not so much a problem as you can see here this one would probably be a better stealth uh stealth type uh interceptor rather than a fighter itself since it has a not as good as a turn radius as a craft like i made uh black daca which was a short turn radius made for uh bda fights so this one here though it is very stable tailless and you can see here we're able to actually come in here and actually cruise in this mountain and i kind of tr i trust it enough to actually do this i trust it enough to do this because that is a lot of fun but anyhow i'm gonna get on out of here Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this aircraft and let's see what we can do getting this back to base with some afterburners because that's going to be what a real fun kicks in. I'm doing all this on the keyboard and mouse. So right now it's two hands on keyboard because your brakes don't actuate. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn this on now. So we can get a really slow landing speed here. All right, brakes off, coming down, nice and easy, nice and easy, nice and easy. All right, we're down. Gent gently feather our brakes so we don't have another incident like we had <laughs> before with our landing leg, and we've come successfully to an end. Whoa! <laughs> Let's give you guys another look at this craft here. Nice close in shot. This is the Maple Leaf. I think the Canadians would be very happy with that name. But this design is absolutely fantastic. It has a great speed. I've already taken it to the South Pole and it flew without a problem. Over to the South Pole, cruising speeds, no afterburners at about 1.8. Like I said, once you get to the upper uh, mid atmosphere, upper mid atmosphere, you can cruise about 1.8, 1.9 and really get some speed going. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that for now. If you like what you're seeing, hit that like button, drop me in a comment, let me know what you think. I can share out this craft if you would like. I'll throw it up in Kerbal X. If you, let me know if you guys want it. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Spin your board de trois. And I am out. I, what, what do they always say? They say ring that ring that bell button so you know when I drop the video. And and subscribe and share it to your friends, brah. <laughs> I don't know if I have time for all that. But I will catch you guys in the next one. Super Jura. Out. Enough pandering for views and stuff. Someone just fix YouTube. <laughs>